What's going on, everybody? My name is Bendy, and this is Disney Heroes. So, today we are counting down the top 10 purple skills in Disney Heroes. We are just gonna continue down the line of going through all the skills in Disney Heroes. And uh, now we're on purple skill. So, I'm just gonna get right on into it pretty quick today. No real intro. Uh, but, I will say, if you like my videos, definitely give me a like, subscribe, comment. I would hugely, hugely appreciate it. And before I begin, I just wanted to make a really quick disclaimer that just like all of the other videos, I am only considering the skill as it is written. A lot of the purple skills boost other skills on their kit, so I will kind of take into consideration what it actually does to boost the other skill but I'm only considering the purple skill as it's written for this list. So if one of your favorite heroes doesn't make this list, it, that might be why. Um, I don't know, I can't think of anything else to say, so let's just start. So, the first hero that I am putting on this list is actually going to be two heroes that have basically the same purple skill, just worded slightly differently. And it is going to be both Kristoff and Sven and Honey Lemon. They both have the 10 spot. Um, with Kristoff and Sven, Kristoff increases the duration of all freezes by and slows by 35%. For Honey Lemon, Honey Lemon increases the duration of blinds and freezes by 13 seconds. So that's sort of kind of the same thing in a way. I would have put this probably higher like a year ago when Freeze was like really really in the meta. Unfortunately Freeze is kind of falling off right now, but still if you put Honey Lemon or Kristoff in a Freeze team, they are definitely the top dogs really when it comes to Freeze teams and uh, being really supportive for those Freeze teams. So that's why I have Honey Lemon and Kristoff at number 10. So at number 9, we are going to uh, move on to a hero that I don't really have powered up, but I have been mentioning quite a bit lately, as she just got moved up to best of the best on my latest tier list. But Ariel's purple skill is pretty cool. When Ariel applies a heal to any hero, their max HP is increased by about 3 million, at least for me. I think this maxes out at around 9 million, and then the max that it can go up to is like 25 or 26 million or something like that. So anyways, this adds a lot of HP to her uh, teammates. I'm going to back that up because it's annoying. Um, and it basically just helps with the survivability of Ariel's team. And uh, it's definitely one of the main reasons that Ariel has uh, made a push up to best of the best, along with just generally how good her heals are in general, and uh, a few other things like that. But obviously we're mainly just concentrating on purple skill. This purple skill is pretty cool. Uh, so that's why I have it at number nine. At number eight is a hero that I think it would be a disservice if I didn't put him on this list, um, and it's going to be Ian. Ian's purple skill is probably one of the most iconic in the game. I think it's one of the ones that people think of when they think of Ian. Um, so at the beginning of the wave, Ian applies Reflect to the furthest back ally, including himself, for 5 seconds. And everyone knows what Reflect does, it prevents 100% damage and it goes back at them. Please stop being annoying. All of the skills are very annoying, I don't like it. Um, yeah, it counters so, so many things in the game, especially damage that is done right in the beginning of the fight, like Zeus, or Mulan. I know Mulan's kind of out now, but pretty much anything that's going to be attacking the back row. And then if you were to pair Ian with like Kermit or something like that, it's just going to pass the reflect on to other people. So mainly the fact that Ian's purple skill is kind of like his most iconic one, and I think it's what people think of when they think of Ian. Um, I think that is good enough reason to put it at number eight, and uh, it's definitely one of the top dogs in the game for sure. At number seven, we have another double spot here uh, of heroes that have basically the exact same purple skill. So we're going to have Mad Hatter as well as Kevin Flynn. I'm not going to even go over to Kevin Flynn. I'm not going to bother because it's literally the exact same skill. Uh, Mad Hatter is immune to all debuffs and then over for Kevin Flynn, uh, Kevin Flynn is immune to all disables. So uh, technically Mad Hatter's is slightly better because he is immune to all debuffs. But basically, this is just one of the reasons that Mad Hatter is really cool and interesting, and uh, definitely one of the reasons that he's made a comeback in addition to his red skill, but we're not considering the red skill right now. So, but yeah, Mad Hatter cannot get any buffs, any debuffs applied to him. He can't be disabled, he can't have attack reductions or anything like that applied to him at all. Mad Hatter is just always totally neutral on the battlefield. That's definitely uh, why Mad Hatter and uh, also Kevin Flynn are in the number 
seven spot. At number six, we're gonna move down to a hero that I don't have powered up, but everyone is always saying that he is really amazing. We're gonna talk about Vinny. Uh, Vinny's purple skill is short fuse. Um, Vinny's basic attacks now deal normal damage to enemies near his initial target, and the additional energy gained from his white skill, Boom, is increased by 200% when he damages two or more enemies with a single attack. Basically, Vinny's white skill uh, gives him 100 more energy every time he basic attacks. So basically, this is going to increase that energy gain to 300 every single time that he basic attacks two or more enemies, I guess. Um, so I think, I honestly don't even know because uh, Vinny is very foreign to me and I honestly don't have much interest in working on him. I think this is definitely one of the main reasons that he is really good because this allows him to get his white skill off pretty much constantly and I think that is Vinny's entire thing is just constantly getting his boom off with his explosives and whatnot um, and I think that's part of the reason why he is uh, so suffocating out there and he does so much damage. So that's pretty much why I have Vinny at number six. Uh, I don't know if you guys are going to agree with me on that, but you guys can tell me otherwise. I really don't know. Um, but anyways, at number five in the purple skill, starting off the top half of the list is going to be Ron Stoppable. Oh yeah! <laughs> <laughs> Ron Stoffable's purple skill is after he uses Nako Chuck, which is his green skill, he gains 100% attack speed and about 3 million basic damage for 14 seconds. Uh, Ron is also energized during this time and gains 85 extra energy each time he basic attacks. Mainly the big thing with this is the energize and the attack boost that he gets. Uh, this is why he's able to just get his reflect off so quickly. Uh, because if you remember, his white skill is what has the reflect on it. So basically, this just allows him to get his white skill off constantly and therefore more reflect over and over and over again. Uh, plus, he's moving 100 faster, which is pretty crazy. So, Ron's purple skill, pretty cool. Definitely one of the reasons that he is at the top of the meta and top of the tier list. Among pretty much the rest of his kit, his whole kit is just absolutely ridiculous. And that's why Ron is at number five. At number four, we have another double. I know it's probably kind of a cop out to have all these double spots, but they are kind of similar. Uh, the first one here is going to be Anna, 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 whichever one it is. Anna's purple skill, if Earth Giants, which is her white skill, hits a frozen enemy, the enemy is shattered for 5 seconds. Everyone knows what shatter does, it is ridiculously overpowered. Um, so basically if your white skill hits a frozen enemy, so if you have Ana paired with a freeze team, they are going to be shattered pretty much constantly from her white skill. And then also the queen of shatter herself, Shigo, uh, her purple skill, every 3 basic attacks Shigo applies shatter for 5 seconds. Uh, so basically both of them apply shatter pretty often in the fight. And this is especially why Shigo is so ridiculous, and it is why she is one of the top two heroes in all of Disney Heroes, in my opinion, alongside Zeus. I think Zeus and Shigo are, by and away, the best heroes in the whole game right now. There is really no competition in my eyes. So that is why Shigo and Anna are at number four. Uh, simultaneously, mainly because they both apply Shatter. Shigo making a reappearance for I think the third time in this series already, and out of four videos. I think the only one she wasn't in was the blue skill one. Um, number three, we're moving up to my number one hero, Pocahontas. Pocahontas is purple skill. She grants herself and allies buffs based on their team color at the start of battle. These buffs are increased by 10% each time Pocahontas uses Wind Gust, up to a maximum of 100%. Wind Gust is her white skill, by the way. So to the red team, they gain armor, quite a bit of armor. I have Pocahontas ridiculously powered up, so these numbers are going to be pretty ridiculous compared to what yours might be. Uh, yellow team gains basic damage, which is pretty helpful, but the big one here is going to be blue team gaining skill power. This is really, really, really huge with a number of heroes because if you don't know, blue team is quite ridiculous. You have Shank, you have Angel, Shigo, Kermit, Bagheera, Mad Hatter, Zeus, Ron Stoppable, Elsa, Magara, Jesse, King Louie. This is going to increase the amount of damage and the amount of just things they do in general by a ton. All these blue heroes, if you pair with Pocahontas, are extremely powered up. It's basically like having a Nick on your team. And then if you have Pocahontas and Nick together, oh my god, so much skill power sharing. Oh my god! So mainly, the reason that I have Pocahontas at number three is because when you pair it with blue team, it is 
ridiculous. Red team is decent because they gain armor, and yellow team with basic damage is also pretty good because it's going to be pretty helpful with Madame Mim probably. Uh, Mary Sanderson, I'm pretty sure, has one of her skills. Yep, her white skill is boosted by basic damage, so pair her with Shigo. She'll do more damage with her white skill. But yeah, any yellow team is going to gain basic attack damage, and any blue team is going to gain skill power. So that's the main thing, and that's why I have Pocahontas at number three. These last two, you guys might disagree with me on. Number one, I think you guys might be very surprised with my pick on number one, to be honest, but I gave it some thought, and I think it's a very good purple skill. But first, let's go to number two. Number two is going to be Timon and Pumbaa. Uh, Timon and Pumbaa's Glorious Grub. Akuna Matata gives allies immunity to all crits. Now, I went through this in Timon's Hero Overview last month or the month before, whenever that came out. Um, this is 100% the reason that Timon and Pumbaa are really good in the meta, and this counters so many things in the game. Um, it is extremely useful for a number of things. It is going to counter Shank very hard. It will counter Darkwing Duck especially hard because this is going to prevent Darkwing Duck from going invisible with when uh, Kuna Matata is in play. It'll counter Mulan, it'll counter Calhoun, it'll counter Dash, it'll counter Cheshire, it'll counter Ian. Zeus a little bit, Ron quite a bit, Fear, Bolt, Jim, pretty much anything. Um, all study will be countered very hard, all scare is going to be countered very hard. Anything that has any kind of crits is countered extremely hard by Timon and Pumbaa. I feel like I've been leading up to this one for the entire skill list, um, as I think it's one of the best skills in the game. However, I had this at number one up until like right before I pressed record on this video. I switched it over to something else, which I think you guys might be very surprised about. Before we move on to number one, let's talk about a few honorable mentions. Uh, the first one that I want to mention super, super fast is actually Joomba. Uh, Joomba, I almost put at number 10 actually. His purple skill, he deals 300% more damage with Plasma Cannon and his basic attacks while he is precise. The reason I wanted to put this possibly on the list and definitely give it an um, honorable mention is mainly because Bagheera just joined the game. Bagheera has tons of invisibility and he applies it to his entire team. This means that Joomba is going to counter Bagheera um, and invisibility in general extremely hard, so this might bring Joomba a little bit of a comeback. Even though he's kind of an old hero, he probably doesn't do as much damage as you might think, but the uh, precise from Joomba might actually help a little bit against Bagheera and stuff, so just wanted to give that a quick shout out. Let's also go to Bagheera himself, because I almost put Bagheera on this list himself, even though he is brand new. I really just didn't want to put it on because he literally just came out and nobody has really tested him out yet, but while his team is invisible, Bagheera and all allies gain 50% damage reduction and heal for 50% of the damage they deal. Now, this is very, very huge in one, defending against pretty much anybody on the enemy team while they are invisible, but also it's really good at keeping everybody alive on his team. So this purple scale, pretty cool. I was really, really, really close to putting it on the list, but I decided against it because we haven't really tested out Bagheera enough yet. So this one definitely could creep up into the list hypothetically, very soon, if I were to redo this video again in the future. We also have another shout out for Quackerjack, whose purple skill applies a stack of fatigue to nearby enemies every two seconds while the robot teddy bear is in the field, and he also applies two stacks of fatigue when he is summoned. Uh, so fatigue, super helpful. It prevents the enemy from being able to get buffs off on their team, so always super helpful. So I just wanted to give this one a quick shout out because fatigue is really, really good. Um, I've been giving Quackerjack a little bit of a shout the last couple months here. Another one that I was really close to putting on this list was uh, Fairy Godmother. After Fairy Godmother uses her white skill three times, the next one grants her allies armor for 10 seconds and removes all their debuffs and grants them two stacks of hardy. Uh, mainly, uh, the good part of this is the cleanse that this is going to provide. Uh, removing all debuffs is always super helpful for a number of things, and also giving Hardy to prevent them from getting debuffed further. Fairy Godmother is definitely one of the best when it comes to Hardy and uh, cleansing and whatnot. So uh, We also have Louie, who I almost put on the list. He used to be my number one for a really, really, really long time, but I recently got rid of him. But these bananas deal so much damage and uh, also slow. Bananas, pretty cool slip on them, they do lots of damage, and they slow them down. And then the last one that I wanted to shout out, which I was also very, very, very close to putting on this list, was Jin. I had him at like number 9 or 8 before, but I figured this one wasn't quite, quite enough to make it to the list, but more blocks an attack that would have damaged the hero he is attached to, 
Uh, and then he turns to a pie and smashes into the attacker and blinds them for 10 seconds. So this is one of the reasons that Jim is really, really good. Um, this pretty much stops all the damage from any attack um, once every five seconds. So I talked about this a little bit on the gym hero overview in the past. So if you want to get the more in-depth reason why this is a really good purple skill, you can go over to there. But this is a really, really cool purple skill and one of the reasons that Jim is at the top of my tier list for sure. And probably maybe like 11 or 12 on my list if we were to extend it to a little bit longer. But I just didn't quite think it was quite enough to make it onto the list. Yeah, so that is all the honorable mentions. There's probably a few others that I could mention, but um, I decided to uh, only include a few for you guys. So we're going to keep it a little bit shorter today. Let's move on to the number one. Like I've said three times already, I think you guys are going to be very, very surprised that I picked this. But this is somebody that I don't actually have powered up at all. Oh, and the game froze. All right, we're adding to the suspense here. Okay, the number one purple skill in Disney Heroes, in my opinion, which is the correct opinion, by the way, is actually going to be Phil. Not bad, kid! Not exactly what I had in mind, but not bad. Phil's linked ally has their green and blue skill levels increased by 25 levels. Phil also heals them for 15% of their max HP every second. If Phil is not linked to an ally, his basic attacks grant him 250 bonus energy. Um, so basically, with this uh, second part, um, it's basically uh, his white skill makes it so that he links with a new ally if he doesn't have a linked ally So that's pretty much what this is trying to accomplish there to get a linked ally to him as quick as possible The main thing here is Phil's linked ally has their green and blue skill increased by 25 levels now if you are actually at max level with Phil and obviously other heroes as well this is ridiculous ridiculously powerful. By default, Phil links with the frontmost ally, so anybody that stands up front is going to be most likely linked to Phil. But you could also pick who you pair him with, so you could pair him with other people if you wanted to as well. But this can go with a ton, a ton of heroes and really boost the amount of damage and and or support that they provide to their team. So you could pair this with Shigo, or apparently Randall, because that's where I clicked apparently. It's going to make this deal a lot more damage and it already does a ton a ton of damage so there's a ton of scenarios where this fill link could apply to and really help in a number of ways i see it i see it now it's always been inside of me So many heroes that stand up front basically that could really benefit from all of this uh, i don't want to get too into it but uh i mean you have zeus also but yeah so phil's purple skill very surprisingly good i had timon and phil swapped actually up until like the very last second but then i kind of thought about it and i was like damn that purple skill is pretty cool it's almost like putting another two and a half mods on their green and blue skill simultaneously so that's why i think phil has the number one purple skill in the game i don't know that purple skill the wording of it is just really cool so that is going to be it for this video uh let me know down below what your top 10 purple skills in disney heroes are i know my opinion is the correct opinion so um you guys are going to be wrong but let me know down below either way what you think your fucking top 10 purple skills are in the game. But anyways, that's gonna be it, so, um, peace. Three, four, five. Fuck them all. How did Pooh go down? What?